you enjoy them, Mick? No, not yet. To be honest, it's not looking good, Scroft. I have to say. Ah, oh, don't to say that, Mick. I'm hoping you can get her back up and running. Well, I don't think that's going to happen. From what I can tell, this needs to get back to my workshop. Hey, up. Looks like George is here for you. Yeah, it is. It's George. What the hell is that? Hey! Hey! Look! I told you. Chin up, we'll sort it. Here you go. I've got your replacement. Brought you up from the farm for you. Oh, are you kidding me, George? Not now, mate. Not now. You just told me you can't fix it here. Oh, uh, well. I said to you, it probably looks like it's the end for that Leyland. Anyway. Look, you're all right now. You got this. Are you kidding me? I ain't going to be using this, am I? You've actually gone out your way to bring this up here. <laughs> I have. I thought it'd be hilarious, but now I'm starting to think I probably shouldn't have done it. Oh, well, well I'm here anyway. So, uh, what's the crack? Uh, well, Mick's just told me that, yeah, it's uh, not looking good, basically. Right, well, what are you going to do about that plough on the back? And are we going to get it on the back of that trailer? I haven't figured that out yet, George. I guess, I guess we're going to have to move it out of the way, aren't we? Are you saying, Mick, that we definitely need to unhitch, then? and uh, get it on that trailer. If you could, that would be uh, probably the best thing. Uh, I've had a look, but no, I can't fix this here. I'm going to have to have a look at the workshop and I'll have to yeah, let you know what the problem is, but I can't really tell right now. It's definitely something, and I think it might be part of the engine. Oh, joking. All right, then. Right, uh, um, I'll tell you what, then. George, are we all right using the Massey to uh, hitch up to this and I'll drive the Leyland back on that? Oh, why not? Why not? Great. Um, right, Mick, I'll let you head off then. Um, and then we'll bring the Leyland down to you. Okay, yeah, sounds like a good, good plan. Uh, thanks, Mick, for that. I appreciate you coming out to the field anyway. No problem, anytime. See you soon. See you in a bit. Right, and George, let's unhitch from this. See, bringing this down now has been a great pain. Oh, no, we didn't think about that, did I? Well, it was worth the laugh, I have to say. Worth the laugh. Yeah. Fair play. Right then, mate. Go on, go for it. I've unhitched it. You sure? Ah, you're going to have to be dead gentle, though. Yeah, I'll try my best, mate. Go on, keep going. Keep going. Watch the plough. Watch the plough. I'm trying. It's not the easiest thing in the world to do. There you go, you got her. Give her a bit of a nudge. Go on, keep it going. That's it. I'm doing it now, I'm doing it. Are we getting there, George, or not? Ah, you're a rate. Keep going, buddy, keep going. Oh, hold up, hold up. Right. Right, what's the plan now then, George? Oh, I don't know, I haven't thought that far ahead. I just thought we'd get from behind the plough. Um. Right, well. I guess the first thing we need to do is sort this trailer out and get it ready. Alright then. I'm going to have to nudge it up, aren't I? Pretty much. We've got no winch. God almighty. i tell you what to do then, George. You sit in the Leyland, and I'll nudge it up with the Massey. And just drive it and guide it up there, yeah? Alright then. Let's do this. We can do this, Scroft. I know, I know. I hope so, anyway. Right, keep going, mate. Keep going. Yeah, you bang on there. You bang on. Right, I'd stop her there. Right, and George. Should be alright, shouldn't it, that? Oh, I think it'll be right. Right. You're going to have to nudge this best you can. Right, well, you hop in, then. All right, um. Oh, God, let's hope this works. Well, oh, it doesn't look like I'm going to get any ploughing done today. That's a fact. Oh, well. Fingers crossed we can come up with a solution. Really need to move that plough out of the way.
Right, I've moved the plow out of the way, and I think we're ready to go. Are you ready, George? Ah, uh, go on. Steady as she goes. Yeah, all right, then, bud. Right, we're gonna have to be really careful with this. We really are. Go on, go on. I am. I'm trying to take me time. Don't worry about it. Just go on. Ah, that'll do. That'll do. Radio. There we go. That actually worked. No way. Did not expect that. Right, let's get this hooked up and we'll strap it down. There we go. Job done. Hey, George, we did it. I know, ah, that was pretty impressive, actually. Put me down for you. Didn't expect it to be that easy. Right, put some strapping down. Yeah, I've just done that. Right, well, uh, are you going to drive it back? Ah, are you right walking back? Blow me now, fire. Have you seen it? Fair trick, that is. What are you on about, George? It's all downhill. It's only there. I can see it from here. Look, it's either that or you drive this up, mix. Which one? Ah, actually, I'll, I'll take a slow stroll. It's a good idea. Right, well, I'll leave you to it. And uh, I'll see you back at the farm. Yeah, no worries, George. Thanks for your help. Appreciate it. See you in a bit. Ah, see you in a bit. Right, before we go, let's just check everything's secure. Looks like George is already heading down. Um, looks alright. It is a shame, though. Having this on the back of here like this. It really is. Oh, well. Let's just hope it doesn't cost too much and we can uh, get it fixed. I mean, if it's a crazy price, then I don't know what I'm going to do. So, uh, just got to try and stay positive, I guess. We can only do what we can do. But yeah, let's take this back to mixing. It's his trailer after all, and uh, yeah, he'll. Uh, I'm sure he'll give me a bell and let me know what the what the issue is and if it can be sorted out. a bit busy on here. Um, tell you what, we'll just park it outside there, and we'll uh, we'll give Mick a heads up. It's probably the best bet. There we go. Job done. Right, Leyland. I'll see you hopefully when you're all fixed. Fingers crossed. Where's Mick? Oh, there we go. George will be happy that I've brought back the big bag and dropped that off so it's not gone to waste. Well, at least we've got some more fertiliser in storage. Um, and I think that's enough, that is. The cows are alright, I've fed them this morning. We've got a little bit. Probably need a bit more feed later on in the day. But, uh, yeah, I think they're alright. Um, still haven't heard anything back from Mick. It is the next day. And, yeah, we're still waiting, so hopefully soon we'll hear something. Yeah. Is that Keith? Hey up, Keith. Oh, hey up, George, you alright? I'm all right, mate. Just uh, having a good chat with Keith. Oh, what, what's what's going on? What am I missing? What am I not part of? Well, he's just come up. See this uh, delivery I'm getting today. What do you mean, delivery? I, I haven't got a clue. What's going on? Oh, you'll find out soon. I think you'll like it, Scroft. I'm telling you that now. Okay, I'm, well, I'm interested now. George, have you cleaned your Land Rover? I have, ah. Uh. What mean? I'll fire, George. I think that's the first time I've ever seen you clean one. <laughs> oh, it's all right for you to say that, Keith. I've never seen your McCormick look this clean as well. First time I've ever seen it like that. I thought it was just permanent dirt colour. 
Well, yeah, fair point. Uh, I understand that. Anyway, why do we need clean our vehicles? We got Scroft do that. <laughs> yeah, do you know that's pretty accurate? That is. Anyway, what 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 are you getting delivered? Well, put it this way, you might want to say goodbye to this landy soon, because uh, I'm getting myself a new one. Are you? Honestly, is that why you cleaned it off then? Ah, right, should be getting delivered today. That's why Keith Town he wanted to have a look at it. No, I'm telling you now, it'll be the best Land Rover I've ever bought, this is. And, uh, yeah, it's a shame to see this one go, but I'm looking forward to the new one. Now you've got me interested. Wow. Ah, well, it makes sense now, doesn't it? No wonder you both here. Clean vehicles, what's going on? Right, well, uh, give me a shout when it's here, and I'll have a quick look. All right, then. See you in a bit. Here we are, Scroft is here. No way. Oh, no way. Look at that. Pull me now, fire. You're joking me, George. You've got that. I have indeed, mate. I've been looking at him for quite some time. I even went and had a look at one. Remember that day I wasn't around the farm? And I said to you, I'd be staying over. Well, this is what I was doing. I'm buying one of these. No way. That is a good choice, that is, George. I know. But you like it. It goes without saying, you can't drive it though. Not even once, George. Come on, you got to let me have a go once. Well, depends. We'll see how you get on, eh, first. Uh, but yeah, last time we see this, this one's going back. Part exchange for that, and a bit of extra cash, obviously. But let's go have a look at it. All right, then. Blow me now. Oh, George, that is... That is stunning. That really is stunning. I oh, know, look at that. Blow me now, it looks better already. I mean, they've cleaned it up now. When I had a look at it, it was a bit... You know, it's had a bit of mud on it. Are we, are we second-hand brand new over here? Ah, right, second-hand brand new. Best way. I don't think I can ever buy anything brand new. This is, uh, it looks brand new to me, though. <laughs> it definitely looks brand new to me as well. All right. Uh, no, you uh, no, yeah, that one, do it. I tell you. Uh, oh, yeah, no, you one. Right, well, both of you, stop ogling it. You know, I'm going to start getting your handprints on it now. Look at it. Leave it be. Yeah, right, and George, are you going to park it up, then? Well, first thing you can do is sort this out so that you can drive this back. All right, um. We're going to go for a spin, or what? Yeah, we'll go for a spin. Give me a second, let me sort this out. <whistles> uh, you look busy, don't you? you got nothing better to do. Well, I just said goodbye to Keith and I watched him head off with your old one. Hey, I've been thinking you should have let me know. I would have bought that one off you. Nah, you couldn't afford that. No chance. I needed part exchange anyway. All right, then. Do you want to have a sit in it? Yeah, all right, and yeah, I'll definitely have a look inside it. I mean, I guess in, I can't have a spin. No, you can't have a spin. The only time I'll let you drive that is when I'm in the passenger seat. I mean, have you seen it? Look at it. I mean, beautiful. All right, and right. Yes, George. Yeah, it's uh, really impressive in here. I have to say. Yeah, you really have picked a nice one. I oh, know. I oh, know. I'm over the moon, Scroft. Over the moon. I do like a Defender, especially the TD5s. Yeah, they are nice, aren't they? Ah, well, hopefully soon I'll have myself a 4 before. Ah, soon you will, I'm sure of it. Anyway, did you hear off Mick about your Leland? I am to a thing. Honestly, a thing. I'm hoping it's not too bad. Ah, uh, fingers crossed. Anyway, you never know. Mick's pretty good. If there is a way of fixing it, he'll sort it out for you. And he won't charge you no arm and leg. He'll, he'll give you a fair price. Yeah, that is true. That is a good thing about Mick. He is, he is pretty decent. Uh, oh, did you plot your field up in the end? No, I haven't even been back in it. I've got nothing running in the field. What, don't be stupid, man. Get in the massy. Go on, go get it done. Are you for real, George? Ah, oh, get in the massy. Go finish your field off. You can't leave it like that. Come on. I mean, you should just ask. You know I wouldn't mind. Just go get go get it done and get it sorted and get it out of the way. You know, when your Leland's back, you, you'll be in the field yourself. But until then, you need a bit of help. So, yeah, just jump in massy. Go get it done. Cheers, George. I appreciate that. Right, well, 
I'll let you mess about with this then, and uh, I guess you'll uh, park it up. I'll, I'm sure I'll see you bombing around the, uh, the village in it soon enough. Ah, oh, I think I might go shop, get some chips. <laughs> yeah, sounds like a good plan. Well, you know where I'll be if you're getting some chips. Ah, uh, do right. Right, head out anyway, I want to sit there. Yep, no worries, no worries. Right, see you in a bit then, George. Ah, oh, see you in a bit. Right, well, I know I've done everything on the farm, and I don't need George telling me twice. Let's go and get this field done. Plough's still sitting up there as well. Crazy, absolutely crazy. Let's go sort it out once and for all. We do need to get this ploughed. I did want to plant in as well in March, so... This will be perfect. I'm so glad George has let me use this. To be honest, I was stuck before that. I honestly thought we won't be able to even get a crop in the ground this year. But it looks like we've still got, we've still got to George to save the day. Ah, there she is. There she is. Let's sort this out, get hooked up, and we'll carry on from where we stopped. There we go. Should be spot on. Happy days. Probably going to take quite a while, but at least now we've got the power behind us. It should actually be a bit easier, so we'll see how we get on. Hopefully now, like I said, it will be a much smoother smoother thing. We are ploughing again, and uh, it's great to see. But uh, yeah, probably going to be in here now for most of the day. Uh, perfect time to get the drone up. Let's see the positives. New drone. We're in the Massey, which has got more power. Yes, we've not got a tractor anymore, but uh, yes, there's nothing stopping us from uh, still being productive and making the most of this field. Hey up, George. You okay? I'm alright, mate. How are you going on? Not too bad. What, even with the snow? Yeah, so far, so good. I mean, it's, it's been snowing for a while, but... Yeah, it's not kind of affected the field, so I'm pretty lucky. Yeah, doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. I'm just on the last little bit now. Probably one more headland pass and it's done. Ah, oh, see? That's great news. Nothing to worry about at the end, then. Nah, just need to give the Massey a bit of a clean. Right, well, anyway, I was just checking in. I'm glad you've, uh, finishing it off. Um, I'm heading chip shop anyway, do you want to? Oh, yeah, definitely, man. Yeah, with this snow dropping down, chip sounds perfect. We'll move back up again. Right.
Right, all right, and right, well, I'll get you normal. Um, half an hour sound good? Yeah, half an hour's perfect, George. Top man. See you then. All right, see you in a bit. See you, mate. Chips, nice. Good old George. But yeah, it's gone all right, hasn't it, really? Got the snow falling, which is a bit random. Keep having a bit of snow. It hasn't been nice. It's picked up the weather, has, but now... Seems like we've got some more chill in the air. Uh, but at least I've finished the field off. Last little bit now. And then I'm done, thankfully. Oh, that's better. Freezing. Get the meters back up. There we go. Right, well, that's that done. And I can actually say it's not turned out too bad in the end. Been a productive day. And we've finished the field off. That's the main thing. Even George has had a new defender. TD5. And it was yeah, pretty impressive. Now, let's just have a quick look before we head out. Chip's waiting for us as well. Can't go wrong. Yeah, we've got a few stones, a few small stones. We'll sort them out. It's not they're not too bad. They are peppered around, but I've seen worse. We shouldn't do too much damage. But uh yeah, at least we can plant in. The snow needs to shift though. We don't want this sticking around. And then yeah, March time. I think we're gonna plant something. I've been looking at like canola. I think the rapeseed uh, would be the ideal. So we'll we'll have a look, see what see what's uh, best at the time, but something simple I think is a good idea for us to start off with. Hey up. Oh god, it's Mick. Oh, fingers crossed. Hiya Mick, are you okay? I'm okay. Right, so I've had a chance to look at the the Leyland and yeah, it's not good news, Scroft. Oh, okay. So what does that mean then? Well, look, it looks like it's going to be an engine rebuild. Engine rebuild? Christ. That is not what I wanted to hear. Um, okay. Uh, how much is that then? Well, the main problem I've got is finding the parts for it at the moment. That's the tricky thing. I don't even know if I can get the parts to do it. You're going to have to leave it with me. If I find the parts, I'll let you know, but engine rebuild, it's not going to be cheap scraft. But I'll let you know, and then you can tell me what your decision is. You never know, it might be a better option. Scrapping it. Scrapping it? Well, that is depressing. All right, and well, yeah, just uh, let me know if you can get the parts, and then if you can source them, how much it's going to cost the whole thing to get sorted. But, uh, yeah, I appreciate you looking at it, Mick, and... Uh, let me know. Um, yeah, not ideal. Not the news I wanted, but it is what it is. Right, see you later, Mick. See you, Scroff. Sorry about that. No, it's all right. It's not It's not your fault. See you in a bit. Well, that is not the news I wanted to hear. Not at all. Oh, well. It is what it is. Let's go get these chips and have a chat with George. See what he thinks about it. Thank you. 